For a while there, Sam Bankman Fried looked like the real thing. Now 30, the MIT graduate had become the cryptocurrency ecosystem's most visible and credible billionaire, with a fortune estimated at more than $26 billion at its peak. Bankman Fried looked like a political kingmaker contributing nearly $900,000 to the Democratic National Committee in May 2022 alone. He portrayed himself as a philanthropy-minded plutocrat, committing himself to donating 99% of his wealth to good causes and donating more than $100 million this year to alleviate global poverty, provide assistance to poor countries fighting the pandemic and fighting global warming, as he told A. His Bahamas-based company, FTX, was financially backed by major institutional and venture investors such as BlackRock, SoftBank and Sequoia Capital. FTX bought the naming rights to the NBA Miami Heat's home arena, employed NFL quarterback Tom Brady and his then-wife, supermodel Giselle Bundchen, as spokespersons, and had its insignia displayed on the uniforms of Major League Baseball umpires. During the cryptocurrency meltdown earlier this year, Bankman Fried's trading firm, Alameda, helped bail out several floundering crypto firms, including BlockFi and Voyager, the latter of which filed for bankruptcy before it could draw down more than $75 million of the $200 million loan Bankman F. In the space of a couple of weeks in June, Bankman Fried committed about $1 billion in bailout funds, according to an estimate by Bloomberg. The outlay had some crypto followers conjecturing that he meant to consolidate the industry in his own hands, 